Hello, everyone. My name is Cameron Burke. I'm an associate consultant at Revelwood, and I'm going to do a quick demonstration on creating repeating reports in Office Connect. Um, so for this demonstration, I'm just going to keep it real simple and make a quick P&L with just income and expenses accounts. Um, like I said, keep it real simple today and just show you how the functionality works. So let's Put, pull on a time span here. Just do 2024 and we'll pull on some labels for the months. All right, so let's refresh our report. And we're going to get a quick P&L income and expenses here. Um, so if you come over to this review pane, you're going to see that this report is on the top level, Revelwood Inc. Um, say I need this report by department and I'm gonna send it out to all the department heads, but I don't wanna make uh, a report for each department manually. So what I'm gonna do is come up to repeating reports under filters. Um, I'm gonna do this by department. So in the element type field, I'm going to change it to levels and I'm gonna select all the departments that I need this report generated for. Um, coming down here to the delimiter, this is just a naming convention for each report tab. So um, since this tab is called PNL, I'm just going to keep it as hyphen and each tab is going to be named PNL dash that level. Um, so I'm going to click create. And as you can see at the bottom, just like that, Office Connect creates a separate report for each department. Um, so again, in this review section, you're going to see all the different departments on each report instead of the top level. Um, so as you can see, there's a lot of flexibility with the repeating reports feature. Um, you can leverage it however you want. Uh, this is just a quick example. Um, so thank you for watching. And if you have any questions, be sure to reach out to us at info at revelwood.com.